and welcome to my channel. Here we talk about personal development, entrepreneurship, nursing, and lifestyle. Thank you guys so much for being here. If I'm providing content that you guys like, please hit subscribe and share all my videos. It really means a lot and it helps a lot, especially as a new YouTube channel, okay? Today, we're gonna to be talking about tax lien and tax deed investing. Let's get into it. So with a tax deed sale, the property itself is sold. The sale is conducted through some kind of auction with the price being the minimum amount of back taxes that are owed on the property plus interest. The winning bidder or the highest bidder is the person who will win that auction, who will win the property and ownership of that property transfers immediately over to that highest bidder. So what happens next is that highest bidder has a certain time period to pay that amount off whatever your winning bid is. It could be anywhere from 48 to 72 hours, even up to 30 days to pay off that winning bid in its entirety. And then that property is officially yours. Now tax lien, tax liens are a little different, right? So tax lien, what that means is there's a legal claim against the property for those taxes that are owed. The property owner does have what's called a redemption period. What a redemption period is, is an allotted amount of time to pay off the taxes that you owe on the property. If you do that in, in that redemption period, then legally you get back your property. So that's what a redemption period is. If the redemption period passes and you do not pay off those back taxes, then the person who has that lien against the property, that property will go over to, to that person so who will now become the new owner. The major difference between a tax lien and a tax deed, while ownership transfers immediately with a tax deed sale, with a tax lien sale, you have to wait during that redemption period. So that homeowner, okay, they have the right of redemption. It's called the right of redemption. They have that time period where they can pay off those taxes to claim back their property. And again, if they do not do that, then that property will eventually be your property. So the homeowners are made aware that, you know, their property is going up for a tax lien sale. So the tax and authority will send them notice, right? To let them know, to notify them so that they can either make the decision, you know, to pay off those taxes, or if they're unable to pay those taxes, then unfortunately they will lose the house. The homeowners can stay on the property and live in the property, continue to live in the property or have tenants in that property during that time period, that redemption period. Now there are some states that are both tax lien and tax deed. So they do offer both types of sales. So it's important to know and do research for the particular state that you're interested in or live in to know what kind of sale you will be participating. Also, it's important to know if you do participate in a tax lien sale to know what that redemption period is because some states such as Florida have up to two years before they have to pay those back taxes off. So me as the investor, before that property ever becomes mine, I will have to wait two years for that time period. Now what happens to the person who has that tax lien certificate? So for example, if I am the person who purchased the tax lien certificate on property A and that homeowner goes ahead and pays that, pa that back taxes off, what happens? That's a great question. Okay, so what happens is I do get my money back. You get all your money back plus interest. I believe up to 10% 10, 10 in interest. So it's not as to say that you just lose your money in its entirety, you do get that money back. Now redemption periods can last anywhere from three months all the way to five years. It depends on what state you live in, which kind of which will determine what that redemption period is. So some tax lien states include Ohio, Wyoming, South Carolina, Indiana, uh, just to name a few. Uh, and some tax deed states, Florida, Florida is actually both, um, North Carolina, New York, New Jersey. Again, it's important to do your research um, in the particular state that you're interested in to know if they operate both as a tax lien and a tax deed 
or if they only operate tax lien or tax deed. I hope this information helped and I hope it makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions or if you're confused about anything, please leave your questions in the comments. Really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video.